thought I would do something a little bit different here. So this is going to be both an unboxing and a patina project in one. So I ordered these. These are factory seconds off of eBay. I have some Meerman boots. I'm going to take a look at these. So this is a, a navy blue pebble grain boot. We're going to check these out. Came with the shoe bags. This did not have all of the uh, typical packaging. Uh, when you get factory first, they're a little bit more, uh, a little packaged better. Uh, these look like they were just kind of in the bag, not wrapped up. So let's take a look at these. So it's a Goodyear welted boot. I'm just kind of inspecting this thing. And all the, the stitching and everything looks to be in good order. Not seeing any problems with that. Everything's looking nice and even. You know, sometimes when I get these, I kind of question why was this a factory second? And as I'm looking it over, maybe there's some color differences. You know, maybe it's a little bit, see the, the pebble texture is maybe not so apparent on the vamp on this one. But I don't see anything that looks like a true defect in the coloration. I mean, this looks pretty good. Now, I had gotten a Chelsea boot of similar color, but I did a little bit of patina on it. So here is Chelsea after I did a little bit of work on it. So you can see the color difference. So I darkened up along the toe, up towards the top here, and to me just a little bit uh, better color. Even though this is a navy blue, it's a little bit too light in some of these areas. So I'm looking at doing the same thing. I'm going to recolor this boot to match uh, this one. So that's going to be the project. As usual, I'll be stripping these boots with acetone. And these are just little uh, cotton makeup remover pads. Because I want to keep the base color blue, I don't have to strip this thing completely. Really, just any kind of surface um, dye, or if they do any kind of a, a light wax or any kind of coating at the factory, we want to remove all that so that uh, any new dye I put on here will be able to penetrate into the leather. So kind of a, a light stripping, different than if I was going to want to change a shoe or a boot to a complete new color. And you can see some's coming off, but not a whole lot's coming off this, so that's good. I think they added maybe a little bit of black in a few areas just to give it a little bit of a color variation and burnishing, and I think that is probably most of what's going to come off. This isn't going to strip down to being a, you know, like a pale, a pale blue shoe. It's just going to take very, very minimal amount of color off of it. So this one is stripped, this one unstripped, and really not a whole lot of difference. So a little bit less sheen on this compared to that one, but other than that, not a whole lot of color came off. I was originally going to patina these the same as my Chelsea boots, which was darker at the toe, kind of faded to lighter and then darker towards the top, but I changed my mind. Really, I'm thinking I want to do kind of a museum finish on these. So I'm going to start with some light blue. Museum finish is always a fun one. I like doing them, so that's what I'm going to do. I always like to pour a little bit in the cap and uh, kind of go with that. So again, this kind of look is made by just doing little little dabs all over the shoe with the collar. No particular.
particular pattern or arrangement. You're just gonna kind of spread it around. color of these right now is almost like a steel gray. You could probably add uh, black to it right now and make a pretty cool uh, steel gray look too, but I really want to get that true uh, blue color to come out. So that was the light blue. I'm going to do a little bit more with now some navy blue. A little bit different, a little darker. A little bit of Saphir Navy. This one is much darker. It is almost purple even in its tone. Now that I've got a number of layers of the dye on there, uh, you get some dye that's no longer penetrating. It's going to sit on the surface of the leather. And it, the dry dye on the surface, it actually will kind of have kind of a strange sheen to it, and you can't really tell the color. So once I get to this stage, you really have to uh, wipe the leather off. So I'm going to use Bic 4 conditioning lotion and this is going to remove some of that surface dye and this is going to let me see what is really the the true color that we've got going on here you can see it's going to take off some a little bit of color and that's expected So the stripping process kind of dries the leather. The dye itself is alcohol based, which can dye the leather or dry the leather. And so now um, this is going to rehydrate a little bit. You can still add dye after this. So you do this big four, kind of rehydrate, recondition. And then uh, after it dries, you can brush the boots off and you can add a little bit more color if you need to. So you can see this looks very different than this one does. After I rehydrate the other one, get that surface dye off, they should look very similar. Let's move this guy.
added mostly black and a tiny bit of the Fibings Navy. I'm going to darken these up a little further. I'm finished with the die work on these. Pretty happy with the way they are looking. Looking to put a little bit of shine on these. So I'm going to use the Pure Polish High Shine Wax. Can be, you know, maybe a little more tricky to put a high shine on a pebble grain leather like this, but I haven't found it to be that uh, dramatically different. Just building up, this is a neutral colored wax, just building up a, a nice base layer. So it's going to fill in some of the cracks here. It's a smooth surface. Now you can see that this is pulling off a little bit of the dye there that I had on the toes. So there's a possibility this ends up taking off too much color and it doesn't happen often but sometimes I find that I do end up having to add a little bit more dye later on and then that happens I'll have to strip off some of the wax that I'm doing go back to adding some more dye but on the toe like this it's not so bad because I can Kind of burnish it a little further with uh, black polish as well. So I may end up doing that. After getting a base of the neutral, I've switched over to the pure polish black. And so this should give just a little bit more of a a burnish and add just a little bit more darkening to the toe, which is what I'd like. Pause it there. We'll let the uh, waxes harden just a little bit, and then I think they'll uh, take a little bit more of a shine here in a moment.
So it really didn't go for a complete uh, mirror shine on the toes, but still, especially for a uh, pebble grain shoe, that is a uh, pretty high shine. I'm definitely satisfied with where that's at. I think that looks great. So these are really uh, completed at this point. So just a matter of uh, lacing them back up and I'll get some still shots. It'll show the color a little bit better outside, but uh, really happy with where these uh, turned out. A little bit of a museum type finish and they were so, so much lighter to begin with. So I think this is a more versatile uh, color, a little bit more wearable. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, this restoration project and uh, yeah, we'll get them laced up and get some photos.